Hi guys, welcome in. Bill Renane here, Bill Renane's Toys. And uh, this is just a hobby channel. I'm not getting paid to do any promotions or anything, but so I don't normally do reviews, but I thought I'd, I'd review something different. Uh, you know, Master Air Screw, as most of you guys know, it's been around a long time. I think the 50s. A little longer than me, even. And they, uh, they've always made a quality product. Uh, and they're pretty well known in the RC industry. Now they're making props for quadcopters, as most of you know. And uh, they recently came out with updated props for the Air 2S because they already had the DJI uh, Air and the Air 2, well, and the Pro and so on and so forth. So I was going to do a review on the ones that I got from my Air 2S. I got the red ones. See the red dot? That's over there. Somewhere up there. There it is. Anyway, uh, I like them. They look good. You know, they seem quieter. They do. Did it in the living room. A lot of guys do it outside to see if they hear a difference. You can definitely hear more of a difference indoors. And I think they're a pretty good product. Uh, they're lighter. I'd imagine they would last longer. The, the flights might last longer. The batteries might last longer and so forth. Uh, but like I said, there's already been a couple of reviews on those, so I'm just going to let that go. However, I thought I would try something different because I got the email and uh, they said we have new props for the Mini 2. Well, I have a Mini 2. So let's give it a shot. So this time I got the orange ones. Let's see my fingers in the right place this time. Orange. And uh, I don't have a quality mini orange drone, but at least I can have some orange props and give it a shot. And these also, these stealth props, are supposed to be the same thing. They're supposed to be more efficient. Uh, they're supposed to make it react better in uh, sport mode. Uh, it's supposed to, uh, being more efficient, they're supposed to get a longer flight time, maybe a little more speed. I don't know if they really brought, said anything about speed with these. They did with the others. And I thought I'd give them a try. Okay, so here's the box. Long flight time. From Master Air Screw, I got the orange, as denoted by that dot right there. Let's see what you get in the box. I already broke the tape. And we'll open it up. And this is what we see. Okay. Now, unlike the uh, the props for the Air 2S, you don't get the nifty little carrying bag to keep all your stuff in. But they do give you the screwdriver, which of course, already, you know, if you have an air, you know, if you have the Flymore kit, you already have that. But they give you this air uh, screwdriver, your screws. And I will take advantage of this little bag because I saved my old screws from the old props. You know, I got a little blue uh, stuff to keep them in. And there they are. And look at that. They're orange. Four of each. And here's the thing. You don't get a bag, so what? You, you do get the screwdriver. I don't see any instructions, but I guess you really don't need them. Uh, and don't forget, this kit's only $13.99 versus the, uh, I think it's $25 for the Air 2S props. In any case, on to installing them, which I'm not going to bother showing you how to do that because, seriously, <laughs> put the prop on, turn the screw. All right, first a little before and after shot. Here's, here's uh, the Mini 2 with my original props on there. Nothing surprising. A little poorly lit. And here's after. All nice and bright and shiny and orange. Looks pretty cool. I like it. Next up, some before and after sound tests. See if you can detect the difference. Clearly, the old ones are a higher pitch. But they're also a little quieter. See what you think. Okay, so there we go on the drone, and I'm going to make use of this to keep my old blades. You know, most people might throw them out, but there's nothing wrong with them. 
uh, a, you know, I'm a cheapskate. And uh, some folks worry about the bolt, you know, you're supposed to replace the uh, the screws because they have a little bit of that blue, you know, blue thread locker on there. But I've got some cheap blue thread locker from Hobo Freight, Harbor Freight, that uh, you just put a toothpick, put a tiny little dab on there, let it dry, and then you'll be good to go again. So this would be a good place to store my original blades because I still have my you know my backup blades that I got with the Flymore kit left over but there she is she looks pretty good got uh, looks like stainless silver screws versus the uh, black ones that came originally and uh, you know I play it off real quickly not to insult anybody's intelligence about how to put screws in a uh, <laughs> in the blade but of course as everybody knows Make sure that your blades are in the right place. I don't know if you can see in this picture, but you got your little line, your little mark on there. And of course, you got your little mark on your arm or your drone. No mark, no line, so on and so forth. So they're in there correctly, and they're snugged in, and they're ready to go. So let's give them a try. And don't they look cool? I guess. I thought I'd be more impressed by the orange, but it looks okay. Let's stop messing around, as Marcus Crawford would say, and put this bird in the air. Okay, here we go. Test number one with Take off. the original props, and literally the original props. These, I still have not used any uh, backup props yet. You know, unlike normal, steady as a rock. So we can see our uh, speed and all that in normal mode. Correct, straight up. Two feet per second. Bring it up to about a. Yeah, let's do a hundred feet. Okay. A little horizon tilt there going on, but we'll just live with that for now. I don't feel like fixing it. Let's uh, go forward. Full throttle. That's about it, 21.5. Sweet. And I'll just spin her around. I mean, this is a totally unscientific test. Facing back to me. Wonderful. Okay. And I'm not recording this flight, of course, because this is just a test. Let's come back. Actually, we're going to do this time in sport mode. Five hundred sixty-one feet. Okay. And of course, it drops the gimbal. There she goes overhead, 35.8, almost 36 miles an hour. All right, good enough. That's the regular props. Okay, here we go. I still got that filter on, even though it's pretty overcast now, so it's going to look a little dark. But of course, that's not why we're here. Let's give her a try with my brand new takeoff. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. Manual master screw. You know, it seems just as stable as always. Of course, now there's a slight breeze, and there wasn't one before. We're in normal mode. Let's go straight up to 
100 feet. It seems like it's going up faster than before, which is interesting. Drop it down at about 100. Just to keep the uh, test about the same. All right, that's good. And let's go. This is normal mode. Now look at that horizon, that's terrible. I need to adjust that. Alright, well. Okay. About the same. Now we'll turn her around. Back at me, put it in sport. Fortunately, too much time's passed. I mean, the, the wind is probably different. Huh. Well, if there was wind going that one way, it didn't affect it on the way back, so. I'll tell you, I don't know if I see any difference. Probably not. All right, a quick summation. I like how they look. I like how they sound. I'm not convinced on any performance increases. In fact, in, if anything, upon reviewing the video, uh, flying in normal mode, the best I got it up to was 20. When the original props... It was 21.5. Now that could be conditions, but you know it is a little slow, a little slower. And then in sport mode, the original props got up to 35.8. And uh, on the way back with the uh, with the orange props, with the master screw props, I was doing 34 at best. I just barely touched 34. And uh, I was wrong when I said that I thought they went up it went up in the air faster. It was uh, about the same. Uh, actually, if anything, the master air screws barely hit 6.7 going up in normal mode, where the uh, originals were rock solid at 6.7. So, again, we'll see. I was surprised to see that the new props, I weighed them, actually weigh a little more. That's, that, that's surprising. I don't know how they're going to be more efficient as far as maybe their airfoil. You know, as far as long, uh, longevity and of your flight is concerned, uh, because the uh, new props are, I mean, not a lot more between the four of them, maybe 0.8 grams heavier. Uh, I, I guess I'll find out in a later test when I burn through a whole battery on each of them. I'll just do a, uh, I'll just do a hover in place and see how it goes and see what kind of I get out of it. And just after owning it for a while, I'll figure that out. But in any case, thanks for stopping in. I hope this uh, meant something to you. Perhaps you'll get them, perhaps not. And uh, doesn't matter to me. There's no affiliate link. <laughs> Just check them out. And pick a pretty color. you got orange and blue and black and red. So anyway, thanks for stopping in. And keep them flying.